So, you know. I'm, I'm excited for this. Yeah, this should be a good one. So, curious to see. And then we've got a Fox Ditto up here, too. So, let's see how it goes. We have Popper Nightshade on Battlefield, too. This time, LA. But he's still going to play fast. I guarantee you yeah. that. Ooh, that one shine. Just two quick uh, shines. Then, considering that this is a Fox Ditto, like, that, that shouldn't be a surprise. We saw kind of someone in the last set with Yami's shines by the ledge with those rolls you were talking about. So, no stranger to seeing that. Another one? Mad lad, that, that would have been. That one felt a tiny bit greedy. I guess it was there to be had. Yeah, a little overzealous fight. That's got the invisible shine there, I think, right there, too. Oh, I like that. And, oh, but it got... It almost got punished. Yeah, nearly. But still making it back. Skirso still sitting pretty all right. Gets the tilt. Gets the laser, at least, if he's yeah. going to miss it. Like, like no. I'm going to miss it, so I'm going to shoot a laser get one extra percent. Like, we take that. I really appreciate that. Yeah, like, he's like, yeah, I'm not going to get the edge guard, but, you know, can't hurt get a extra percent to get help certify a kill later. And just holds the ledge. And he's up two stocks. Yeah, just, just, just having, like, just having, like, the awareness, yeah, I, I can get this laser. I'll just take it right now. It's just, like, that's, like, the kind of, like, awareness and comments that Skurzo has. Dude, maybe a little bit cautious with that edge guard, because I feel like where Fox was starting his uh, B from, Slox had basically all sorts of options. Mm -hmm. But he does take Skurzo's first stock before he loses another one. And Slox going for a shine spike right there, but didn't quite get it. Got burned instead. There's another chance for one right here. Good angle on the up B to avoid the back air. But still taking some damage from it. Rolls away, but no goes to the ledge. <laughs> a little bit of a clank there, too. Classic. Classic Fox Ditto thinks. Beautiful up air. Catches him jumping out of shield, I think. Oh, and yeah, we'll take that one. Up smash will body jab, I guess. Mm -hmm. Gets the grab on the tech chase. Takes an up smash of his own. Yeah, about to just kind of chase each other down right now. Following each other on the platforms, gonna get more to the air. Ooh, Gary has to get out on the down air to avoid a further punish from Slocks. Skurzo, ooh, wait, up air chain. Does not quite fall through, but still, ooh, the, the single hit dare to get the reset? Beautiful. <laughs> Into the shine bear. And shooting more lasers, all of it. Kind of like, even like he's not getting the laser, he kind of uses the kind of like reset to grab the ledge, and then just wraps up with the back air too. So really clean play from Skurzo in that game. It's fun to watch, I'll yeah. say that. It's a very it's, like... It's effective. Like both a spectator point and a, and a counter spec point. Just like fun to like talk about too. Because his decision making, like what he's going with each time. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely like a very unique one. So, Midwest people, you guys get such a treat. You guys get a treat, is what I'm saying, whenever he gets to play. Takes the pretty free edge guard, and Slox is taking some momentum here. He's like, all right, you went up four stocks to two, and you beat me in the first game, but this Ooh. is a new game. Great this new game, is, oh. new day. Oh, I thought I was gonna be able to close that one out for a second too. Yeah, I mean, those are the capitalizations that you're gonna need to have. I feel like. Yep. Ooh, the and shine by the ledge. And ooh, critical quick. hit shine. About to say, yeah, as I said earlier, I love that terminology. And we talked about that last time too. Comes with the big moments. And yeah, we're not even like two minutes minute into the game, and so much slots might take another one, but no. Still makes it back on the side B, and gets the potential follow up here. But nah, not quite. Been more of a, a bit of a reset. Okay, finds an up smash. Even with the down air, still gets a little bit off of it. But Slot's popping over that up smash to move more of like a defensive move. And Skurzo by the ledge, trying to find something here. Waves weaves out of the up smash from Skurzo, and able to take that one too. You know, Slox, you know, not finding himself like as more of a victim of like the cut of the combos that Skurzo kind of throws out there. Playing it really good, like neutral as well. Be able to kind of find the right moment to go in and like off like most of his punches, you can rack up a good amount of percent too. Mad hitboxes right there, real quick from Slox, mm -hmm. and very fast the percentage just climbed there. And Slox takes a quick game two there. Yeah, fast. Like I know you're going fast, but that one just that minute 44 too. So it's like that one went quick. And Slox even in the game right back up. Your Skurza, what do you want to opt for here? Because going back, obviously, you just got three stocks. The mentality behind it goes for a bigger stage here. So, Slocks have a lot of room. Considering how fast he's been playing, has a lot of room to work with. But, you know, Skurza as well, with his style, could compliment him a little bit here. 
Nice sweet spot to the ledge. These locks did throw out the back air, but I don't think it had much chance of connecting. Ooh. Oh, that tilt leading into the shine was so nice. Damn. But I felt like he could have just refreshed invincibility, and then, I don't know, the timing of the bear seemed a little weird, and it, he didn't connect it. So we're still four stocks each, but then he does connect that. Finishes up that one. Plus he's at higher percent, too, so more of a guarantee to get that kill. So it worked out. But, you know, it did take a little bit more work than I thought. Oh, the Ooh, suicide good. cancel. Beautiful. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Because like, you don't want to, like, it was also like, really good. Like, he's like, oh, flub there, and he gets, gets the short and he stays, keep himself alive. Don't want to lose that lead. I'm always impressed when the people can react to, to that and cancel the suicide, as you say. Yeah. See, seeing that, like, like growing up, too, like, in, like, for NGP days, like, people doing that, it's always, like, a nice little callback if you think of, like, those days. Ooh, tilt, yeah, Slock send them off. Doesn't get the shine. Good stuff from Skirt to kind of dive down and not get it by the shine, but, oh, falls down after that, though, so... Worked out for Slocks, it's not the way he was probably thinking. You hate to see it. Especially like especially this far into the bracket. Top I mean Damn. winners top eight and Slocks again capitalizing. Damn, yeah. The threw him off, shine spiked him. Classic. Mm. Absolutely. And the rebuttal? Ooh, oh, doesn't get the shine out. And he will! Massive. And I thought he might have gotten the tech there too, but not able to get it. So it takes it takes a confident player to go for it. And I respect that he went for it. Mm -hmm. But then when it doesn't work out, I mean you're probably gonna die it yeah. was a little head shake that we saw from him and at the beginning of the set Skurzo did hit one of those armada shines i don't know if he's had another one since i think he's gone from me he's mostly gotten burned from what i remember in this set specifically i know he's got i think he got one earlier too but you know, a strong bear i think a fair there another bear probably oh damn oh uh, he's well the down smash is so well placed yeah that's not even to go for the recovery he's too far down it's locked another like very solid game you know another three stock looking he's looking comfortable. speeding up yeah look at spe speeding it up got the la tag feeling good and go for go for the opposite go for a small stage this time see so yeah, if you're scared though you know your lens locks gonna run all over you want to kind of res give him more of a tight space let's see how it goes with this man i know slocks no stranger to be on the station to ditto So, here's kind of my take, and I could be off base, but mm -hmm. I feel like one thing that CT is good at is like efficiency, tech skill, mm -hmm. fast. Fundamentals, um, I'd say too. Fu fundamentals, mm -hmm. they are just, they're just sick with it. And I feel like Skurzo brings a really like artistic fox to the table, mm -hmm. and I love his style, but you don't always get extra points for style and art. Nah, it comes down to execution, like adapting what the other players are doing, all of the stuff you expect in a fundamental set of melee. You know, Slox being able to adjust to that kind of fancy style. He's played a lot of Foxes in his day. The one like Skirzo, it's been able he's been able to adjust to what we've been seeing. But Skirzo keep this going a lot more closer compared to the last two games. Ooh, jab leading to a grab. Now it gets gets to focus a little bit more of a get off me shine, kinda of reset. Okay. Oh, and misses the ledge dash, unfortunate. The power of a good full hop. Mm -hmm. Love that shield going up too to cover that down air. You've seen a couple down airs happen from Skurzo throughout the last couple sets. Keeping it up. Damn, that's a bummer. Yeah. Kind of a, one of those weird deaths. Especially after like such a tight game one that Skurzo won. Seeing like Slocks kind of turn it on, but also this game it's kind of like unfortunate to see Skurzo get those like two SDs now it looks like. Ooh, it doesn't quite get the follow up there on to potentially close the stock out, but still has Slocks for the ledge to get that, that one nice. at least. So still a possibility. You gotta oh, be for very, sure. very careful. Especially get to someone like Slocks. Good defense from Slocks. Absolutely. So the back throw, sending them off. But then Slocks is staying out of that range, I feel like. But Sirius finally gets an opportunity to send them off. Up smash leads to an up air. Not quite. But still, ball is favoring Skurzo. But second, I say Slocks gets a shine on the way back. Tournament winner. Nah, gets punished for it. That one little flub coming. Another good edge cancel. Mm hmm. Ooh, gets stuck in shine, pops him up. Not quite. The dash oh, attack by the ledge. No jump. Yeah, still, still no, no jump. jump. Randall's right there, but doesn't matter. Amazing side B recovery. Mm -hmm. And not quite. Dude. Beautiful attack on the shine, but still keeping himself alive. Skurzo needs it to kick into a game five. Beautiful shorten from Slocks. It's very tense if you're Skurzo. Oh. Randall out here in the field. Damn. Skurzo just squeezes that one out. We got a game five. Bro, he's got the clutch. Ooh, clutch he, factor on he, point in that one. It's 
It's there in his DNA. Mm -hmm. So now we got a game five. Slux, you know, got to think about this one. Winner moves on to play Yami, winning that in winner's so finals. Clutch. But like, so <laughs> like, yeah, because like, you plus like you go like out, like, especially like right near the blast zone is, and you get that trade, and it works out for you because you hit, you head towards the stage, and Slux, you know, not gonna be able to make it that far, not gonna be able to make it back. Sorry, got my words mixed up, but, whew. and is he gonna go to off to go back? No, goes for stadium instead. Okay, get that wider stage. Yeah, and no top platform too. Yeah, he's like, hold on, no. I think he maybe doesn't want to risk, like, you know, having that kind of situation by like where Randall was again. He caught off stage, get, get caught slipping. Hey. <laughs> Scores was like, bro, don't let me catch you. Just call my shin. Yeah. Artful and <laughs> styleful or whatever. <laughs> I, have to say, like, I, feel like I feel like I'm seeing like both kind of like kind of like, kind of mirror each other a little bit. Like, you're seeing like a lot of like, these back airs come out. Different, different use utilization of moves, but you know, Slock said scores off. Oh, Let's see how he kind of does it here. Oh, that's massive! I that love was... a good straight up. Mm -hmm. and like, oh, he's just like very, very expressive there in the camera. You know, after like that brilliant use of like the straight up, keep himself alive. Slock is able to still close it out. Again, a fan of the gun more so than a lot of other foxes that I feel like I see these days. Not all the time. But just here and there, mixed in with this movement. Mm -hmm. Especially in the Ditto, I feel like I don't see like a, like a lot of foxes that kind of go for the gun that much. That's Slox doing right there too, though. But like, you know, seeing the gun pop out in that kind of situation, always good to see. Oh, no jump. Able to survive it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they put a little bit of footsies right now, moving around each other. Here's a shine. Good. Yeah, Ooh, brilliant ops attack to keep that going too. He had like a tomahawk into a shine, I think. Yeah, that I was nice. That. Gets, gets the laser. You know, he getting pretty fancy with the lasers too now for Slox. For real. Yeah. Both of them kind of flexing right now on, the, on like the more artistic side. You know, Slox definitely being like very expressive Damn. like Prince as he said in the past, but Skirzo answered right back with that shine off stage. And again, like it takes confidence mm -hmm. and he nailed that mm -hmm. in game five. Yeah. Crucial right here. And you're down like slightly here. Gets the up smash on the recovery too and is able to take that. So 2-2. Two -two. You're at 25% of Slox, but you know, you can easily turn that around right now. Drill shine, jab reset, takes a grab off it, and mass. Oh, almost got it. Yeah, it right was there. So close. Like by like a hair, I feel like you could have gotten that. It could have been a huge turnaround for Slox of being down just now. But Skirts, you know, he's keeping out a little bit more, giving himself a little bit more space. The double hit, fair. The double fair with the jab. Beautiful right there. Again, the fair coming into play. We saw it in other sets earlier today, but using it right there to set up that crucial kill this late in the set. Great stuff. Up smash out of shield, giving him a tech op tech chase opportunity, but Skurzo finds his footing. Now we're back in some crazy shit. <laughs> and now Slox finds the punish with the up smash. And now he finds himself in the last stock game five. You got Slox at 75. That's Hill could set Skurzo for a potential advance. Regrab off the landing. That's gonna do it. Yep, got it. And Skurzo keeping that together and get a ticket in a close game five. I have to say. I gotta put some respect on the man's name. Not only is he dope and stylistic and artistic, he's just damn good. Damn real good. Hey, he'll, so like, he'll, he'll come to Connecticut and beat Slox, yeah. who, like we were saying, mm -hmm. is like the one guy. Of, yeah. And historically, does really well at this event, but of course, other events across, you know, Jersey, Tri State recently, like Mass, he goes to Mass Mattis, you know, coming in here and doing that in a close set like that. Props. And now he finds himself in another Fox Ditto. My against hat is Yami. Off. My, Hats off. We're getting my, serious. I'm not sure much my, time. But so much. Not sure much time. How much time we have left? I think we have at least another set or two. But 